feels like it's about the strongest championship in maybe a couple of decades. Even. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be difficult as a pundit to pick who's going to win each week. I think we're well, looking at the league before, like and the teams in there. There's probably. 10 or 11 sides expecting to be up there in the top four so uh, <laughs> no one wants to say that we're the, we're going to be the team to beat us free to longy at Feven and he won't put his neck on the line but they, they look very strong don't they yeah and it's the players as well isn't it? a lot of kind of big name players you've got like a Luke Gale and a Michael Lomas in the division now as well it's, some actual kind of big personalities in this league as well. There is, um, you know, Keithley looked very strong before Gailey signed, and you know they've obviously come up from League One, and and the the, the roster that they've put together, I think they'll be confident, especially round one when they play Featherstone at, at this stadium. I think it'll be, you know, a really good, you know, test, and and, and we'll be able to see where both sides are at, but. Yeah, I, I'm scratching my head thinking who's going to win this game. And it's great that there's so many good players. Um, you know, Joey Lalua at um, Featherstone, again, he's a, he's a headline. He's, he's a world-class player. So it's, it's so good for the competition, uh, so good for the sport, and, and so good for the viewers too. Are you as kind of freaked out by seeing Michael Lawrence in anything other than Huddersfield gear as we are? Well, yeah, I, I've known when I was at Huddersfield, his captain Michael was coming through, and, and that's all I've ever. And when I saw him before, he's actually the captain of Bradford now. It's a um, bit of a rival when we were there. So uh, he says he's loving it. Um, another superstar of the game, and he'll, he'll be a terrific buy. I think Bradford, you know, as a club, have, have done some real good recruitment this year, um, and I think they'll be better too. And Tanu's dropping down from. from Super League, they've, they've got a bit of a point to prove after um, not quite hacking it last year. Yeah, they have. I think they were unlucky, weren't they? I think a few games could have gone either way. A lot of players have left, so I think they've still got a little bit of work to do recruitment-wise. Um, the squad's not as as big and eye-catching as some of the squads, but Toulouse are a very good side, a very good club, uh, and and they will strengthen. So, yeah, again, it's a little bit of an unknown quantity that how the, how good they're going to be in the championship because going over to play against some of these clubs in Super League is a little bit different to coming to Keighley and Featherstone and, and Batley and, and the Cumbrian sides in, in February and March. So yeah, it could be um, a bit of a test for Toulouse. You know Witness well. How important is it after four or five really difficult years that they are challenging for Super League? It's massive. Um, it's massive for the club. I think the fans expect them to be challenging and that's the reason why they've got John Keir in there. I think he'll be a the best signing maybe of the competition for, for Widnes getting him in. He's a terrific coach, he'll bring everyone together. And, and you look at that squad again, it's, they've almost gone back 10 years where they had all these young lads together playing for their own town. Tom Gilmore's gone back, you've got Jack Owens there, Danny Craven. Jordan Johnson's back there again, he came through the academy. So you've got players wanting to pull that shirt on with a bit of pride and passion, which is what the fans want to see. And it's crucial that they have a big year. Are we, is there a danger that too many people are overlooking Batley again? Semi finals one year, final the next. And, well, know, there's yeah, loads of big names. Yeah, in there. And, I, and I think Craig Lingard will probably like that. Yeah. Um, I'm not overlooking them. I think they're going to be one of the big hitters. Um, you know, you could probably add York in there as well. Andrew Henderson going there. He's, he's a terrific coach. But this is the excitement. I, I, it's really hard to pick. If you told me to pick the four best sides, I couldn't do it. Not at the minute. And that's what's so good about the competition. I, genuinely turn up to most games this year and I wouldn't know who to pick. We all love Super League, it's the, the top level of the sport over here, but you know, there's just that buzz, the fact that there's five, six, seven in the mix, how big does that make this championship team? It's massive and I think it shows what rugby league's all about, you know, it's not just, you know, the fancy stadiums, we, you know, we went to Tottenham last year and and had a look at some real good stadiums, but this is rugby league, it's working class, and, and it's it's tough men playing against each other, and, and that's what we're going to see in the championship. It's almost two seasons in one. You, you get the physicality and the brutality early on when the pitches aren't as quick, and then the pitches quicken up um, in the summer, and we see the skill and the flair, and, and that's what's good about the championship. It's, it's full of skill, but it's full of toughness too.